welcome to marine tech hub uh, today i like to thank all my subscribers all over the world for subscribing me and making one, my youtube channel marine tech hub to the highest level so in i would like to tell a little bit more about my channel i have been running this channel for the last 5 years uh, last 4 years the channel was free uh, now uh, i have come to a level where i got the membership so membership level 1 to 3 uh, the level membership 5 which is uh, rupees 3999 Uh, in this channel where i am be giving you all the videos for one year plus i'll be helping you for all the troubleshooting at real time from anywhere so lot of superintendents chief engineers and all engineers are calling me for troubleshooting so i am very happy it was my dream that i should have a channel like this where i'll be able to help people and shipping companies to save time and money so you can always uh, choose whichever membership you want but uh, level 5 i'll give you all the help and online training i'm giving you online training for rupees 1499 plus if you want to subscribe you can pay me the bank details are here if you want to pay through bank and you can if you want to pay through paytm you can scan the qr code so uh, i'll very much thankful to all the subscribers again and uh, have a nice day thank you welcome to marine tech hub today i'll be explaining you about the variable frequency drive in this picture you can see this drive is of three phase 14 kva and it can draw amps of specification is around 18.5 amps so the make of this drive is fiji so this uh, drive is used for lift it can be used for some other purpose also especially designed for the lift so why it's designed because you have connections for the encoder here so what can go wrong is you can igbt can go wrong that is one part other is the power cord can go wrong the controller can go wrong or the encoder can go wrong encoder so i will be explaining you how to find one of the fault if the igbt is gone how you are going to check that so what i am going to do is i am going to keep the plus on the minus here check one by one you can get the reading here you can see first reading is coming 0.89 the second reading 0.190 so more or less same again third one again 0.19 so all these three three readings are okay when you check the other side first one is showing more you see the other one 0.24 0.43 am exactly i want to show you here again one more time the first reading is here 0.246 the second reading is 0.247 the third reading is it's showing more 0.482 so there is a problem here in the third reading this is the inlet side of the unit again i am showing you you can see that first reading second reading the third reading is showing wrong so the inlet side there is a problem outlet side you can see here you can see the reading here more or less is coming okay you can see the second one 0.209 you can see the third one so this is how you have to check so the, this is the inlet side you give the input three phase and this is the output side so both the reading should these three reading should be same and these three reading should be same if that is now right now we got one of the terminal showing a wrong reading so now the igbt is gone sometime what happens the power supply board may not be working all right but the igbt may be okay or the control circuit board where you can give a internal or external supply 0 to 10 volt or 4 to 20 milliamps that is one then you have the encoder here encoder board can also go wrong 
so if one of them is not working then you can change them the IGBT is very costly if you can change the IGBT most of the time the IGBT goes so make sure wherever you pick fix this variable frequency drive make sure it is cooling is proper so if you have any message regarding this you can always message me thank you